Getting an advanced degree or master's degree in real estate is a huge asset, um, especially uh, if you plan to stay locally. Uh, the Georgetown Alumni Network is extremely strong here in the greater Washington metro area and up and down the East Coast. Um, preparing for the business, first of all, you need to be educated. Um, so that's the first thing, the foundation, is to understand what people are talking about and understand uh, the major issues and what impacts uh, the health of the market uh, locally and nationally. Um, so you need to be educated first and foremost. Uh, secondly, you need to develop relationships. It's a very local business and it's very relationship driven. And getting a degree from Georgetown uh, is a tremendous asset in that you're instantly integrated into a diverse, uh, ambitious, successful member, uh, a community of members. Get in the ground floor as early as you can. Um, I think it's a great time in, in our industry because um, you know, real estate's a lagging, lagging, a lagging indicator. As the economy comes out, real estate trails behind that. Um, so I think right now is particularly a good time for a lot of companies are hiring um, at the junior levels. And it's a good place to be because you'll ride up the wave of the industry um, as it kind of comes up from the trough and makes its way back to, uh, to a much more robust um, place. Maybe not as, as crazy robust it was, as it was in you know, 2006 and 2007, or early 07, but still a better place than today. And so it's an opportunity, I think, um, for students to, to recognize and, and realize that they can get in with companies that are really going to be able to ride that wave up. Um, maybe because they're very good at what they do and hopefully they've chosen a great company to do that with, like ours, uh, or just by luck. I mean, the industry can't go down too much further than it is. And if you get in with, you know, a company, there's just a good chance that you'll be able to ride something up from there. I'd say stick with it. It's learn as much as you can about the industry. Try to get as networked as you can because the economy is always going to change. And the more you know when you're ready for it, when the change occurs, you got to be able to, to, uh, to, to grab a hold and, and get to work. Well, I can tell you from experience because two years ago, uh, I graduated with a real estate master's program. Uh, maybe the worst time to graduate uh, with a program in real estate, 2008, 2009. So it wasn't very pretty out there. Um, so I went around asking people for advice all the time. Um, and the majority of the people said you're coming out at a great time because you're starting your career at a time when um, the bubble had burst. So you can build up, you can work up, you can learn from mistakes. And I think the best thing that uh, my generation, people just coming out of school, have learned is that uh, there actually are cycles. Things don't go up. You know? So for example, from the early 90s until now, we've really never thought a dip. We just maybe assumed cap rates would always compress. Uh, you know, we assumed properties would appreciate. Um, and even though we've heard, no, there's cycles or cycles, until you actually live through a cycle, you don't really understand it. Well, if somebody doesn't have a design background while they're in college, I would encourage them to either um, get exposed to it in, in some way, shape, or form, possibly a, a, an elective uh, class if their university uh, provides that or certainly come to conferences such as ULI so that you can you can see and understand and, and become familiar with design vocabulary. Uh, if you're obviously you know going to school for uh, real estate whether it's commercial residential what have you I think obviously the best thing to do is when you get out of it is continue to be a student in the industry and gain knowledge by talking to your peers but also uh, you know be involved in certain organizations like ULI and uh, continue to broaden your horizons and not be focused in one specific area, but you know, broaden yourself out and continue to learn whether you're in the business for a year, 10 years, or 30 years. I mean, I would say you have a lot of great um, projects here in the Washington, D.C. area that they could go and visit. I think a lot of property owners are really excited and proud of their green building projects, um, their green neighborhood projects, and would be happy to do tours, that kind of thing, where you can hopefully um, meet with the property owner or maybe talk to the design team, the development team, and understand why they made the decisions that they did. Um, so I'd say touring projects, and then obviously there are a lot of educational offerings out there. We have some, a lot of other organizations do as well. Some of them are free, you know, free webinars, that kind of thing, where you can try to learn the nuts and bolts. And, and I think especially for students who are kind of wanting to potentially go into the private sector, kind of hopefully getting a good um, understanding of, of the financial side of these projects as well. Taking the classes, absorbing as much as you can out of it. Um, you got to do inner class networking, networking with your teachers, uh, networking at events such as these, and also any type of event that you can get 
a chance to attend or an opportunity to go to, absolutely do it. Um, part of the benefit, or if not half of the benefit, of attending a program such as ours is going to be networking with people, your peers, how uh, that are in your industry and related industries and related segments within the industry. And so it's very important for all of us to network um, both within ourselves, within our program, other programs, other schools even, and um, uh, for us to have a presence at, at events such as these that we do. If you want something bad enough, you'll figure out how to make it happen. And frankly, you can't be shy. Okay? The world wasn't made for shy people. So if you want a job, ask for it. I've done it and it's worked multiple times. And my competitors were not bold enough to say, I'd like you to make me an offer. So if you feel that an interviewing process is going well, when the time is right, ask them to hire you. And you never know, they might do it.